Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with London Studios. We're going to be downloading and installing, as well as reviewing, the SWAT vehicle resource by London Studios. This video will also cover the smart ladder and some of the fire trucks that you can use with the smart ladder resource. The, uh, the SWAT vehicle is very cool. It adds an additional level of realism to your LEO roleplay. It allows for cops to essentially use a ladder on top of a SWAT vehicle like the pictures here uh, to gain access to difficult points of entry that may not be achievable um, via stairs or something along the nature of that. You can see that the vehicle provided has lots of great detail. Uh, London Studios never fails to add great detail um, and stuff along the nature of that. So in order to begin today's tutorial, you're going to want to head to store.londonstudios.net. At that point, you can go ahead and purchase the SWAT vehicle, and they will send you all the requirements to your key master. From your key master, you're gonna go ahead and download SWAT. You're gonna go ahead and also download Smart Ladder. And we're going to also install the ladder truck. Um, we're gonna be installing the Tiller ladder truck for today's video, so we'll install that as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and find our resources folder, and we're going to create a three new folders. The first one we're gonna do is uh, Tiller. Gonna go ahead and enter the Tiller folder, and you're just gonna go ahead and drag and drop everything from tillerpack.zip into this Tiller folder. Once that's done, you can close out of Tiller Pack. Now you're going to create a new folder for smart vehicles. You're going to go ahead and drag everything from smart vehicles into this folder. After that is done, you're going to go ahead and create a new folder for the SWAT pack. We're just going to name it SWAT. And then you're going to drag everything from SWAT into the SWAT folder. From there, you're going to go ahead and go to your server CFG. And we are going to ensure all of the resources we just downloaded. So just like that, we've ensured SWAT, smart vehicles, and the tiller resource. Let's go ahead and jump into the configuration of these resources. So starting off with smart vehicles or the smart ladder, um, you can see that here we can set up a vehicle command. So in order to uh, config what vehicle can use what ladder, you can do slash set up vehicle and um, you will set up a smart vehicle. If you would like this to be under a ACE permission, then you can do that there. Just turn it to true and put the group ACE permission there. Along with the integration, as London Studios does so nicely with ESX, VRP, and QB Core, all of that can be configured there with specific jobs being allowed to use or not use this command. Underneath, you can do a reset vehicle command. So if you made a mistake or something and you'd like to reset the smart vehicle configuration, you can do that using this command. And you can also put that behind permissions listed here as well if you desire. Prompt distance. So this is the distance that you can be from the vehicle to see the prompt to control. So this is at 5.0 GTA meters. If you'd like a sound to be enabled when you, do, when you see the prompt, then you can have that there as well as the sound volume. The cage command to enter and exit the cage is listed here. Enter cage distance can also be um, manually changed there. Cage check, um, essentially what this means is instead of checking the distance from the vehicle, it's going to check from the distance of the cage. You can have that enabled. It is disabled by default. All of these commands, once again, are also placed under a ACE permission if you would like it to, as well as ESX. If you only want firefighters to utilize these commands, then you can set that up here with ESX, VRP, QB Core, and ACE permission integration. The simple translations for this resource, as London Studios always provides, are here. You can go ahead and change whatever you would like. If there's no permission, you can change that notification there press that you can change that notification there so you can change it to any language you can just run this through chat gpt and ask it to change what's in the quotations and it will do it effortlessly for you and your community so that is going to go ahead and do it for the configuration of the smart ladders and the um, smart vehicle resource everything else is just going to be started by default the only thing that you need to config is the smart vehicles or the smart ladders and uh everything else in there should be all fine and dandy all right let's start our server and jump in game and see what it looks like 
All right, so I've went ahead and spawned the SWAT ladder vehicle that comes with the resource. We're going to go ahead and run the command slash setup vehicle. And the script will go ahead and set up the vehicle for us. We're then going to go ahead and pop out. And we can see press X to control. Once we press X, our character is going to do this little animation here uh, where he's just kind of standing by. And we can begin to unfold the ladder um, there. You can see at the top, I'm using my arrow keys right now. All the keys are available on the documentation. You can see, here we go. Oh, you want to go up with that one, just like so. We could go ahead and use E to lift and raise. E and W as well as Q. Q and W to raise. Use the arrow keys to move it around to different steps like this. Once I'm done controlling, I can go ahead and move it up a little bit further if I need to. Just like so. Come back into the X. We want to do that. Come back down like that and then bring this one up. Bring that down a little bit. And there we go. Now we can go ahead and get on the truck and we can walk up and access this building. A very, very awesome resource by London Studios. We can get down as required as well. Very cool, customizable resource from London Studios. Let's go ahead and jump in a fire truck and see what it looks like. All right, so here we are in the tiller. Let's go ahead and run slash set up vehicle. That is going to go ahead and put the tiller ladder on there. You can see that the AI is not a big fan of me doing this right now, but we'll pop out of the tiller trailer and we'll attach it to the truck just like so. There we go. We've attached the tiller. Obviously, you would have somebody in the back driving it as well, but for this demonstration, it's just going to be me. Um, so we'll go ahead and pull up to the building that we want to access. The dollar pills here say it's on fire with the smart fires resource. We could just pull up just like that. We'll jump out, and uh, obviously my parking job is, is not the best. You can see X to control. We're jumping back. Now we are on top here, and we can fully have control over the ladder. We can extend it with our left control. And then we can put it down just a bit. I've went a little bit far. You can hear the sounds there. Very cool. And we'll just go ahead and do that right there. And then we can go ahead and walk completely up it without falling off to gain access to our um, situation or scene. Boom, just like that. We are here. We can triage patients or whatever we need to do. And that is the LEO and fire side of the Smart Ladders resource by London Studios. So very cool indeed. Definitely recommend it for uh, realism and stuff like that. It puts all these in-game ladders uh, into use. Very cool um, and very almost a must need resource for fire department and SWAT roleplay. Um, definitely check it out. On their documentation, you can see the list of compatible vehicles with the resource. So you could purchase any of these um, and it will already have it set up. We are currently using just a default one, I believe, but nonetheless, one that works very nicely. So you can go ahead and check any of these out in order to use the ladder. Um, very cool resource by London Studios. If you guys did like and enjoy this video, let me know below. More London Studios content coming out very soon. We appreciate you for watching this video. Support is offered through the London Studios Discord or through my Discord or the comment section. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later on Play Live.